12 mathematics November 2020 in my first and second videos I've done questions 1 and 2 so in this video I'll be doing question 3 question 3 of course is based on sequence and series so you have to prove the sigma prove that it is convergent and then secondly they give you the same uh, sigma the difference is that k is 1 here here k is p and here the sum is given as 2 over 9 so you must use this to find the value of p so let's first prove that this series here is convergent now for series to be convergent you need to remember that there's a common ratio if it's geometric of course and if there's a common ratio then that r should be between negative 1 and positive 1 in other words a fraction but not 0 so that's our main point here I must try and prove that r is a fraction between negative 1 and positive 1 the only way to do that is to at least find the first three terms so the first term k is a 1 then k is a 2, then k is a 3, and so on. And if you simplify this using a calculator, you should get a 12 there, a 4 there, and a 4 thirds there. So the next step now is to test for the common ratio. And of course, common ratio is normally the second term divided by the first one. So what is 4 divided by 12? If I simplify, should be 1 third. But it must be common, don't forget. So therefore, I must also do on the calculator 4 thirds divided by 4. And then you'll notice you get 1 third again. So therefore, your conclusion is that R is between minus 1 and plus 1. It is definitely a third is. So therefore, the series is convergent. In the second question, or second part, they repeat the very same sigma. The only difference is that k is 1, here k is p. And they give you the sum. Sum is 2 over 9. So you must find what is the value of p. In other words, you must find the first value. Now this is geometric. So immediately if you go to your formula sheet, you should know it is those three terms there that deals with geometric. This is the general term. This is the sum and there's another one for sum but I'm going to choose this one because remember I'm dealing with sum to infinity right so that is what I'm going to do now so therefore write down the formula for sum from the formula sheet right and write down what you know you know that the sum is 2 over 9 so that we know we know from the previous exa uh, example that r is 1 third and now a is different now because a I'm not, I can't use 1 now, I've got to use P, so therefore that is my new A. Right, then you do your substitution into the formula. Now there's various ways of simplifying this problem now. You choose what works for you. What works for me is to first simplify with these two. So what is 1 minus a third? It is 2 thirds. Then on my calculator, I just basically say 4 divided by 2 thirds, and I get a 6. So maybe it's maybe the quickest way to do it, right? Then next, of course, is to do the following. What you can do is, you, on your calculator, 2 over 9, divide by 6. 2 over 9, divide by 6, and you get 1 over 27. This may be the quickest way to do it. Then, 27 is 3 to the power 3. Take it up, and becomes 3 to the power negative 3. So I have the same basis, so therefore the exponents are equal, so therefore P equals to 5. 